Good morning, YouTube. We are out here at the boat ramp. As you guys can see behind me, we're going to get ready to put the boat in. I want to do some testing. Not only have I uh, installed this whale tail or this hydrofoil on the back of the Mariner down here on the uh, cavitation plate. Uh, we want to do some testing with that, just see how it responds. And then I want to see how the uh, Garmin mount is going to act out on the water. It did really great on the way here, even though I don't live that far from the boat ramp. Um, you know, it, it did vibrate a bit, but it looked like it was held and strong, holding strong. It didn't swing or anything like that. So we're just going to see how it does. I forgot my tripod, so I can't set up uh, the camera to film me dunking it all. But once I get her in here, um, I'll check in with you guys in just a minute and we'll go from there. Still a little cold. Let her warm up for a couple more minutes, then we'll push off. All right, we pushed off. We got to idle out there to that sign. And then once we're past the sign, we can go ahead and open her up a little bit. She does need to warm up, so get that choke in. I'll go ahead and say just the first couple minutes sitting out here i totally forgot that my garmin was here so that's kind of a plus it's not really in the way at all but we'll go ahead and start speeding her up a little bit here What a huge difference that thing made. I mean, what an absolute difference. My bow is pointing down a good bit. I'm sure in rougher waters it's not gonna be ideal, but then again, I am alone here on the vessel. So all the weight is back here in the rear. Let's do another little hole shot run. Wow, what a huge difference that is. It does do a little bit of bow steer when you steer aggressively, so you gotta be careful of that. This is on trim level two. I'm gonna put a video in from trim level three I took it out before I installed the Garmin mount with the whale tail. Let me drop that video in. I'm not hitting top speeds, but you guys can see that it starts to porpoise, especially doing the turns back and forth down in the Ortega River. So I'll throw that in, you guys can see that, and then I'll check back out, or excuse me, check in with you when we get out to the middle of the river.
All right, guys, we're out here in the middle of the river. Right behind me is Lamb's Yacht Center. We're just kind of floating around out here, putting. I am very, very happy with how this whale tail performs on the back of this engine. I mean, it has made a night and day difference for this flat bottom skiff. Picking up out of the whole shot, 10 times better than what it was before. It seemed like it had some prop slip, which I know it was cavitation, but that's what uh, the first thing that I thought of when it happened. I was like, man, maybe that hub is spun. And then after doing a couple of test runs with it, noticed that it was definitely cavitating real bad and uh, putting this uh, hydrofoil or this whale tail on it, man, it is night and day different. So I'm real happy with it. I'm gonna do some cruising around. I'd like to do a top speed run, but unfortunately I can't film it at the same time of me doing the run. Uh, just because one, I need to hold on to the tiller handle and uh, pay attention. And I don't have another camera out here or another way to uh, track my speed just because the Garmin isn't hooked up yet. But we'll speak about that here in a couple minutes. I'm very happy with the way this has come out. It hasn't budged, it's not shaking around, it's not vibrating, it's not making any noises. It's nice and sturdy. I brought the wrench with me just in case I need to adjust it a little bit, but I'm very happy overall, guys. Very happy. doing great. We're out here in the St. John's now. This is the big river. We're out here in the middle of the St. John's. It is a beautiful morning out here. Wish I had gotten out here a little earlier. Got held up by a few things, but man. Being out here in the middle of this water, especially on a little 16 foot skiff, really humbles you. It really does humble you. It's kind of crazy. Give her a little bit of throttle here. It's wild that it is a river and I can see land, you know, all the way 360, but it's still humbling. <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm gonna hang out here for a little while longer. The Garmin's holding up great on the mount. Like I said, it's, it's not moving. You can hear a little bit of rattling out of it. And that's just that low idle speeds when I'm in neutral. Hardly vibrates. Now oh, there you go, got a little bit. But I mean, it's, it's doing great. I'm really excited to hook it up. I wanted to hook it up all the way, but just trying to be safe, you know, hook it all up, wire it all up, and then the mount not work, and then I have to pull all the wiring harness back out and all that jazz. I guess it's not a big deal, you know, installing it in the transom, but just wanted to see how this worked out before. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get to it anyways before the end of the month because I'm going out of town. So I gotta give at least six days for the 5200 to cure unless I get fast cure. But anyways, guys, I don't mean to be rambling. I'm gonna hang out here for a little while longer and then uh, head back 
uh, towards my side of town. Carburetor's doing great, not having any issues out of it. It's loading up just a little bit at slight RPM. Let's see if I can get her to do her here for us. There it goes. I'm not sure you can tell or hear it in the video, but it definitely loads up a little bit just around this RPM. I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe 1500, 1600 RPM. We've got a wake right here from a vessel that just passed us. Oh yeah, Garmin handled that fine. It is a bit rougher out here, I want to be careful, but we'll go ahead and open her up just a tad. No hesitation. Doing great, guys. She's doing great. Very happy with this little mariner. Well, we stopped off on a little uh, dock here that's on a uh, hiking trail. It actually walks up into the woods up to a park, but I've always wanted to check this area out. I've never been able to because those guys always fish in here, but decided to come up here and check it out this morning. And uh, if this is not a reason to own a Carolina skiff, you can see the bottom. You can still see bottom. And she's still drafting in it. She is still drafting in it. I gotta do something about that light. Though. That light hits every single time I dock. And I can't stand it on the back of the stern because it leans, it looks silly. So I gotta figure something out. But just to show you how shallow it is right here, you can see the whole whale tail.
quite gorgeous out here. I'm gonna hang out for a few minutes and then we're gonna head on back to the dock because I gotta go to work. All right, guys, we are back at the ramp. That was a successful test run. The uh, hydrofoil or whale tail, whatever you want to call it, it performed fantastic. The carburetor is doing great. And then my mount is awesome. Didn't budge. Little rattle here and there, but I didn't really go in that rough of waters. But when I did cross others' wakes and, uh, you know, going down the St. John's, it did bounce a little bit, but overall, I'm very, very happy with the way that it came out. And like I said, I didn't even notice that it was there. I was up and down, moving all around the boat, and I kind of forgot about it. Looked down, I was like, oh, that's right, my Garmin, it's there. So it worked out nicely. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap the video up. I'm gonna go ahead and load the boat, and then uh, we'll close out. Well, I was hoping to get this video up for you guys around lunchtime, maybe shortly after lunch, but my mobile job held me up, and I was actually in a race with the freaking rain to get that mobile job done, and thankfully I did. And it's actually about 5.30 right now. We're back at the shop. I'm all unloaded. And uh, I did want to close this video out for you guys. Overall, I'm very happy with the uh, hydrofoil setup or the whale tail setup. If you guys have a flat bottom skiff or Carolina skiff, I would highly recommend you running one of these hydrofoils or whale tails. I mean, it, it just made a night and day difference. And off camera, I ran... Uh, one more speed trial and I hit 28 miles an hour with the bow still down and again that's on trim setting too. I'm on the second trim setting. Uh, I would not recommend it if I had weight in the bow. Uh, it's definitely a little sketchy especially at high speeds when you want to steer the bow kind of gets pushed into the water a bit more and it just it doesn't feel right but when it's me by myself and I'm just gliding in a straight line, you know, wide open throttle, it does great. I slow down a little bit into my turns, especially if I'm making aggressive turns. Uh, on the trim three, as you guys saw in that video, it does do good, but that bow just comes up just a bit too much without that weight and it just kind of wants the porpoise across the water. So I know when I have my girl with me or my friends or when I do eventually get a casting platform or, or, or a front deck, uh, I can load up some weight up. Uh, on the bow and uh, set that on trim level three and I think we'll be set and that's just while I don't have an electric trim jack plate. I'm for sure we're going to get an electric trim jack plate because I'm not dealing with this whole manual trim nonsense. I could understand why it'd be handy for some but just swapping it out and then having to lean over the back of the transom with that damn pin and you're worried about dropping this pin in the water and I almost lost my sunglasses you know you know how it goes but all right guys I'm running my mouth the whale tail hydrofoil did awesome carburetor rebuild she did not skip a beat she loads up a little bit i'm gonna kind of tweak her maybe adjust that fuel air ratio see if i can uh, clean it up a little bit but other than that she did great she was ripping fires right up no hesitations and then lastly the garmin mount i'm very happy with it i think i may get some rubber or something maybe to help that plastic on plastic noise it doesn't really sound like it's the actual uh, mount it just sounds like it's the plastic going back and forth but other than that guys i'm very very happy it was a good overall test day i'm glad that i was able to get out there this morning and test it beat the freaking rain got a uh, day's worth of work in and uh, now i know what i need to adjust i might spend some time getting this garmin uh set up i don't know what i'm going to be doing exactly i may just start running some wires put the uh, transducer together and go from there but anyways guys i'm sorry that i'm rambling thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next upload Later.